Well, hello, everybody, and welcome in. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for March 29th through April 4th, 2021. And this is for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So it's a very exciting week ahead. We've got, we start out with the um, full moon in Libra, uh, the 28th, 29th, uh, depending on where you are in the world, okay? And the full moon energy does last about 48 hours. So the full moon in Libra is all about finding peace, balance, harmony in our relationships of all kinds, our romantic ones, our friendships, our familial family relationships, and our business relationships also. All right, so some of you are going to be having those conversations about where you stand, where you're going, okay? Um, and, you know, others of you may come to the realization that something needs to go or something needs to change. All right, and then, of course, we round out the week ahead with um, Easter, Good Friday, Easter Sunday, and a lot of spiritual energy around. So I'm certainly seeing that spiritual energy come out in the majority of these readings. Okay, so let's see where we go. So as always, this is a general and intuitive reading, not a one-on-one. -on -one. Therefore, not all the messages that come out will be for everybody. So just take the parts of the reading that resonate with you. It can be a sentence. It can be the whole thing. Um, and just take the parts that uh, make sense and apply it to your personal situation and leave the rest behind. So messages for Capricorn, please. What do we need to know for the week ahead? Messages for Capricorn. All right. So first out, we have the spider. Oh, I love the spider. Okay, I don't actually love spiders. Well, I do love spiders. Okay, because they're, um, you know, interesting creatures. I don't want them on me or in my house, but <laughs> outside they're perfectly fine. All right, but let me um, get your Enchanted Map Oracle and then we'll just go a little deeper into that one. Messages for Capricorn, please, for the week ahead. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we need to know most for the week ahead, please? All right, and whoop, there we go. Okay, and we have Rock Bottom. Okay, that one's not as bad as it looks. Okay, Rock Bottom. Okay, because the only way to move is up. Okay, so we have the spider coming out first. Trust the creative spark that you're feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten. Okay, so most specifically, uh, some of you may be um, a writer of some sort. Now, this can be writing anything. You could be writing a short story. You could be writing a novel. You may be like a freelance um um, a free, like a freelance writer of some sort, um, magazine articles, that kind of thing. You could also be something of a corporate trainer. Perhaps you put together training manuals. All right. Whatever that writing energy is for you. Okay. The spider energy is also a creative energy. Spiders, of course, do create, um, you know, beautiful, magnificent webs and, uh, you know, seemingly overnight. Okay. So, um, we just came out of Pisces season into Aries season. So Pisces season was, you know, a great, um, awakening of creative energies for a lot of people. So if you've been feeling as though you have writer's block, okay. For some, okay. Um, or if you're just opening yourself up creatively, perhaps some hobbies that you had previously thought of, now in Aries, and excuse me, now in Aries season, it's time to take those um, ideas, okay, those creative inspirations and really put them into action, okay, whatever that means for you, okay, that can also be finding creative solutions to problems in our everyday life. Now we have rock bottom, okay, so this is a 10, okay, so good news. Tens are endings, leading way to positive new beginnings. Okay, so some of you, you're, the path that you're on, you've gone as far as you can go. There's nowhere else to go. Now, this can have to do with a belief system, a train of thought. This can be a relationship. This can be your career path. All right, whatever this means for you, whatever current path that you're on, there's, you need to make some changes, okay? Some sort of about face, right? Now, the good point is, is that you've gone as far as you can go. You've hit your rock bottom, okay? And now it's time to make positive changes forward, okay? So whatever situation that is, chances are when this card comes out, okay, uh, is it a slightly difficult energy? Yes, it can be. However, because it does require some change, okay? But the 
positive aspect of this is chances are you've known this for quite some time. This is not a surprise to you. Okay, this is really just a reminder from spirit reiterating whatever it is that you've been feeling. Okay, in whatever situation that you're in, it feels as though you've known for a while that there's nowhere else to go. Okay, and you do need to make some change. Now, as far as a relationship goes, okay, this can be, um, you know, a relationship that needs to come to an end. It's run its course. For others, your phase of your relationship has um, reached its conclusion and now in order to progress there needs to be some change for some it's a further level of commitment um, for some it's you know having that uh, you know conversation of you know where you stand with another person right it doesn't have to be romantic it can be um, pretty much anything um, you know this could be a conversation that you have with your boss about your career prospects and what options are available to you because where whatever position you're in right now it you're done you've you've accomplished everything in that position that you can possibly hope to accomplish and now you're you're really hit that brick wall right you're like stay or go so you know it feels as though you might have that conversation with your boss about is there any other departments that you can go to any other divisions you can work in whatever your workplace is okay for some that means cutting and running right cutting your losses um, making plans okay to move on from wherever you are you might start to put some resumes out now the great news here as well with this rock bottom energy for those of you who are currently out of work and you're looking for a new career path you're looking for some opportunities okay the only way to go from here is up okay so it's that change in energy that is headed your way here so you've been feeling as though nothing's been working nowhere's um, you know you're not getting any responses back for one you might need to reevaluate the situation and broaden your search broaden your um, horizons okay perhaps you might even need somebody who has creative writing skills okay to uh, revamp your resume for you so that you can get noticed all right so whatever that is for you okay because um, you know you do need to make just a little bit of a change it feels like um, but again it could be just revamping your resume or broadening your career search you may have been a little bit too narrow-minded on that okay but expect some positive changes to start heading your way all right so I just got a whole whack of energy so for one how are we receiving this way up okay current situation the heart of the matter we've got the hierophant here okay so higher level of commitment with there for some um, there's um, marriage on the table okay for some it's really just a commitment uh, energy here I'll come back to it in a second what is crossing you the ace of wands finding your new okay finding your new passion your new inspiration your new job your new whatever it happens to be what is beneath you your underlying feelings moving you forward we've got justice Okay, balance, fairness, Libra and energy coming out here. Um, uh, the higher is Taurus energy. Okay, so, but this is really what's driving you for good karma. Okay, new beginnings come, um, come with the justice card as well. Okay, very powerful energy so far. Um, advice from spirit is Knight of Cups. Okay, what is crowning you? Your goals, your thoughts, your possibilities. We've got the Seven of Swords coming out there. And I'll just get your outcome energy here. And this one, we've got the fool. There's your new beginning. Look at that. All right. And energy hiding at the bottom of the deck. Look at that beautiful Aquarian energy. We've got the star coming out there. Okay. Some really powerful positive energies really headed your way, guys. So right at the heart of your reading, okay, we have the Hierophant. So... For some of you, okay, for some of you, you are very committed to a situation at the moment or you have been committed for quite some time, okay, but it feels with this Ace of Wands in the crossing position here, it feels as though some of you have lost your passion, lost your drive, lost your, um, lost your commitment, it feels like. And, you know, again, just like with that rock bottom energy, it really feels as though something has to shift something has to change something has to reignite that spark 
okay? Whether this is a relationship, this can also be a career commitment that you've got here as well, okay? And you're really, you're really struggling here to, um, you know, to, you, it feels as though, um, you know, for some, especially the career energy that I'm getting here, it feels as though your heart's not quite in it anymore, okay? And you're really looking for something um, that really speaks to you, something that, you know, um, ag again, reignites that passion that's in your soul, gives you almost like a sense of purpose, a sense of being, because it feels as though... Um, it feels as though for some of you, wherever you are right now, you've become, it's very stagnant energy. And, you know, even though there's been, you know, some good energies up until now, okay, and you're still very committed to your job. You're not just like, you know, screwing everything up just, you know, on purpose to get fired or anything like that. Um, but it feels as though, you know, for some, you're, you're just, you're almost like you're bored Okay, you're bored and you're looking for a new challenge. You're looking for that new opportunity. Okay, and now it does feel with this Ace of Wands crossing you that for some of you, this might mean breaking that commitment that you've made. Okay, breaking free from, um, you know, from, you know, what you've been, um, what you've been doing so far because this Ace of Wands, you're looking for something brand new, okay? That new opportunity, something that you can really grab hold of, sink your teeth into, something that really does speak to your soul, um, something that, you know, again, lights that fire within you, all right? Um, so for others here, for others here, there, um, but it feels like, sorry, I'll go back to the uh, career. It feels like there is something new on the horizon and it almost feels as though for some of you, especially those that are looking for a job, okay, it feels like, it feels like you're, you need to break free from tradition. The Hierophant can be um, about tradition, okay, um, um, traditional belief systems, um, uh, uh, things like that, right, things that are very uh, structured, Okay, and it feels as though you need to break free from that. You need to break free from whatever that whatever path that you have traditionally been on. Now, for some of you, that can mean um, that can mean um, a different uh, industry. Okay, because it feels so you probably you most likely have a lot of transferable skills, and you might not be giving yourself the credit. Okay, that you deserve. All right, so it feels like for some of you, you may be, for one, expanding, broadening your career search, broadening your horizons, right? Because there's this new opportunity knocking at your door, but it does require some sort of action, some sort of change on your part. And I am really feeling as though it's, you know, for one, being a little more creative. For for others, you know, um, uh, revamping your resume a bit, if especially if you know somebody or hiring a service or something that, um, you know, uh, gives your resume the pop, the oomph that uh, is required to get people to see it. Okay. But um, there is this new, this ace of wands, it, the aces are always gifts from spirit, right? So this new inspiration, this new idea, perhaps for some of you, um, new career opportunity, whatever it is, but it does require you for some of you to break free from the structure and from the tradition that you've been following so far. Okay. Get out of the box. All right. Get out of the box. And if you see this rock bottom energy, you don't know which way's up. You don't know which way's down. In theory, you're on this path, but this is one path. It goes to a brick wall up, upside down on the other one. It's still the same path. Okay. So, you know, but it's all very walled in, very boxed. So it feels as though you need to, um, step out of that box. Okay. Um, outside the box way of thinking, okay, something completely different. All right. For, for some of you there, for some as well, you're, um, you're looking to level up your relationship here. Okay. If you're in a uh, romantic partnership, a union of some sort and the Hierophant, you could already be married. Okay. Or you have marriage and commitment on the brain and this ace of swords, uh, sorry, this ace of wands, you're, um, you know, you're looking to level up to the next phase in your relationship, right? Something that, you know, a level that, 
um, you know, builds upon the commitment that you already have, but the ace, of, the ace of wands can be that next level, okay, that next phase, right, because aces are all about the new, and yes, you can absolutely have new beginnings in a current relationship, whatever that is for you, okay, but it's like that next phase, okay, this can also be having that conversation, figuring out where you stand, where are you going, what do you want, that kind of that kind of energy. Um, for some, I also feel as though you're trying to call in a new love. All right. If you're single, you may have been single for quite some time, right? And you're like, oh God, am I ever going to crawl out of a uh, crawl out of this energy, right? Am I ever going to get something new? Well, here you are right on the bat. You know, you're willing to uh, commit to the cause, so to speak. Okay. But you're looking for that new and you're not looking for necessarily any old, you know, fling. Okay, because you do have commitment on the brain. Okay, so you're looking for it feels as though, you know, for some of you, you may have already gone through that phase of, you know, dating around or, you know, having just, you know, short little flings here and there. And it looks like you're changing your way of thinking and you're maturing and you're growing to, um, you know, want something that gives you, I mean, of course, not just passionate connection, right? Because I mean, you know, most relationships or at least romantic ones do quite start like that. Okay. But you're, um, you're looking for something that you can really sink your teeth into something that you can, um, you know, go the distance with, okay, with that energy. So, um, very powerful energy right in the middle of your reading. I kind of knew that was coming out with, um, with the rock bottom, but look at this. Okay. What is beneath you, your underlying feelings with what's driving you forward, karma, new beginnings, justice, fairness, balance, harmony, you name it. Okay. That's what you're looking for. Um, you're looking for, um, you know, um, Justice is uh, Libra in energy. I think I might have said that already, um, but uh, it's all about new beginnings, following your passion. Now, for some with this justice energy, you are um, what's really driving you forward and to make changes in your life, okay, is that you are on a karmic path. Some of you might be in a karmic relationship with somebody, with your person. And again, you know, um, you know, that can either stay or go, right? Just depends on, on where you are. Um, and of course, what their purpose is here with you, right? Sometimes they're only here for a short time. Sometimes people are here for a long time, right? Um, but whatever it is, you've got some good karma coming your way. All of the good, all of the positive energies, all of the honesty, the truth that you have ever put out, now is time to reap your rewards, right? And it feels as though deep down you know it, okay? Because energetically, good karma is really surrounding you right now, okay? Very positive vibes coming off of these energies, no matter what your situation. And if your situation involves a higher level of commitment, then by golly, that's what you're getting. Okay. Because that is on your karmic path. That is that positive vibes coming your way. Okay. Um, I feel as though for at least somebody out here, you may actually be going through a divorce. Okay. And you are looking for uh, some sort of an ending so that you can start a new life for yourself, right? Without any kind of attachments there. Okay. So if you do have those kind of legal proceedings going on, it feels as though for someone it might've been dragged on for a little bit too long. Um, but, um, um, but with justice here, okay. There is um, energetically, at least there is a conclusion in your near future here. Okay. These, uh, the major arcana especially can last, um, a little bit longer than, than the reading only because there's, um, uh, the energies, uh, can last until there's something that changes. Okay. Something that changes the, the path of the energies. Okay. But there's very positive energy coming your way. And again, that 11, that's not just new beginnings. Um, it's also very spiritual number, number 11, and it's also one of, um, a soul path number. Okay. Um, now advice from spirit, follow your heart. Okay. The Knight of cups energy for one, follow your heart, open yourself up to, um, you know, to love if that's the case. Okay. Um, move forward. Okay. Whatever that means for you. And for some that doesn't mean moving on. Okay. It means leveling up. It means moving forward your next phase of whatever it is. But for some, this is follow your heart, follow your dream, follow your passion. That knight of cups always, always, always takes action. Okay. So number one, open yourself up creativity or creatively. Sorry. If, uh, if that is you, okay. Um, listen, 
listen to yourself, okay? Listen to some messages coming in. It feels as though for somebody who um, has had writer's block, okay, or a creative block of some sort, it feels as though those energies are starting to open up for you now, okay? Um, that shift in energy is happening, okay? So it feels as though where if, whereas you felt as though you were creatively stuck, Okay, it feels as though there is a good positive movement forward now for you. So this is that time where, you know, where you're really opening yourself up creativity. Um, and especially if you're if you've had that writer's block or something, right? That's it's really opening up now. Okay, so and when you do um, start to get that energy flowing, okay, start to get that uh, creative juices flowing within you, okay, you're gonna feel it. All right, you're gonna be like, woof, I'm on fire. Okay, because that ace of wands crossing you, right? That can be that, you know, that vision, that inspiration that you're looking for, that creative new idea, that spark. Okay, and when you get it, when you feel it, when you're open up to it, okay, take action and move forward with it, whatever that is. Okay, but um, no matter what your situation, follow your heart, listen to your intuition, you will not go wrong, should you do that. Okay, and that spirit wants you to move forward and to take some action. Don't just sit there and feel sorry for yourself. Don't just sit there and say, Oh, woe's me, there's no opportunities out there, because yes, there is. Now, what is crowning you? The Seven of Swords. Hmm. So the Seven of Swords in this deck can be an escape from responsibility. Okay, so for some of you, um, so this is in your crowning position. So this is your thoughts, your goals, your possibilities, right? So an escape from responsibility. Now, some of you, um, especially with this Hierophant energy, some of you may be... Um, you may be tired of having a lot of burdens, having a lot of responsibilities. Now, for some, okay, that can be you trying to tie up the loose ends of a marriage, perhaps. Okay. And, you know, you're like, you know, you may have, it may not have been a balanced relationship. Okay. Clearly there's something not right. Okay. Especially if you're going through a divorce, but it feels as though you're tired of being bogged down. You're tired of, you know, having your, your mind and your thoughts totally consumed with trying to move forward. Okay. Trying to clear something up, trying to get a successful conclusion. And you're just like, you know, it really feels as though you're just like, Ugh, I just want some peace. I don't want to have this heavy burden hanging over my head anymore. And I want something fresh. I want something new. I don't want the weight of the world on my shoulders anymore is really what it feels like. Okay. Um, you know, but an escape from responsibility. Now this doesn't necessarily it, it, I'm not really getting the energy that you're escaping from your life responsibilities. I'm getting that, you know, you're, um, you're looking for a little bit of freedom. Okay. And whatever freedom means to you. All right. Um, but this can also be not just finding your freedom, finding something new, right? Whatever is overburdening you. Okay. Because the seven of swords, the swords are of course about your thinking, your communication, and, you know, the, the meaning of this card in this deck is, yes, one of them is escape from, um, uh, escape from responsibility, okay? But that can just be that overburdened um, energy that's in your mind, right? It's like almost, um, I'm, getting the, I'm, I'm getting the energy that you're just tired, okay? You're tired of overthinking things. You just, it's, it's almost that energy of it, it's not really an I give up energy but it's one of um relinquishing control okay so it, it it feels as though you're ready to just let things let the chips fall where they may which is actually very important oddly enough it's very important since we do have the fool coming out in your outcome position okay and you know, the thing is, is if you're doing any manifestation, because the Ace of Wands is absolutely a manifestation energy, okay, but part of manifestation is for one, feeling your feelings, okay, it's attaching emotion to what you're trying to attract in, okay, but then it's actually relinquishing control, 
okay, relinquishing responsibility for the outcome, right? You, you set your intentions. Some of you might be doing work with the moon, okay, phases of the moon, right? New moon is where you set your intentions. You might do a vision board, that kind of thing. And then when the full moon, full moon hits, you burn it, okay? You, you either burn it, you bury it, you, um, you know, um, send it back into nature, whatever that happens to be, and then you, like, forget about it. Okay, because you relinquish the control of bringing it um, physically to you, to the universe. Okay, so that seven of swords there, relinquishing responsibility. Okay, um, that can actually be you giving up the control of the outcome of whatever you're manifesting into your life. Okay, um, you know, that's um, quite prevalent here for, uh, for some of you. Okay, but for others, I just feel that you're overburdened. Okay. And you know, you're, you know, you're really trying to get yourself, get your thoughts in alignment with what you really want to do, what you want to accomplish, what you want to move forward with. All right. And for, for some, it feels as if this is, you know, a conversation that you're having with your significant other to figure out where we stand. Okay. It feels as though, you know, it feels as though, you're the one that continues to spark these conversations. You're the one that um, always puts the first foot forward. And it's almost like you want the other person, okay, whether this is romantic or a friendship or family even, okay, you're wanting the other person to foot some of the responsibility, to foot the bill, okay, to take um, responsibility for their part in the relationship because it feels as though you know, I'm getting the, uh, you wear the pants in the family kind of energy. Okay. So whatever that means for you in your relationships. Okay. But that can also be that workplace, right? It's burnout. Okay. I feel some of you are just burnt out or you're just done, right? Again, you're just, you don't feel passionate about where you are now for some of you and you need to make some sort of positive change. But we have the fool coming out in your outcome position. Okay, love the fool energy. This is that leap of faith, that new beginning. Um, adventurous spirit, okay? And it feels as though once you re relieve yourself of some sort of responsibility, whether it's manifestation outcome, okay, or whether it's um, a change in your career path, or even having, you know, um, uh, getting your divorce settlement perhaps, okay? Um, whatever that is, whatever positive changes you're trying to make, whatever that is, it does require a bit of leap of faith, but you're, you're, you've got this adventurous spirit about you, okay? So it does feel as though a very prevalent energy of, you know, some, a lot of, quite a few of you actually looking for your new path, your new way forward, your new career perhaps, okay? Take a chance, all right, take a chance. That's what that fool is all about. Take a chance, move forward, try something new, start something new, go move for, you know, have a, have a conversation and just trust that the outcome of that conversation will be for your highest good, right? Whatever that happens to be. So for some, this means a new job for that. For some, that means a promotion for some, that means a leveling up in your, um, in your relationship, something that reignites that passion and reignites that spark. For some, okay, that is you putting yourself out there energetically, opening yourself up to the new love that is, for some of you, waiting right here, okay? This this ace of wands, this manifestation energy, okay? So, um, you know, for some, it just feels like you just need to, again, just complete, um, complete the opening up of your heart space. And, of course, with that seven of swords, get your thoughts in alignment. Make sure that you're being authentic, not just with yourself, okay, but also with spirit and also with your desires and what you're trying to, the life you're trying to make for yourself. Energy hiding at the bottom of the deck, okay? We've got the star, healing energy, abundant energy, okay? This is about you having ultimate hope, faith, trust in the universe that your dreams will come true. Wish upon a star and it shall come true, right? Love this energy coming out here for you, okay? There is abundance all around you. All right, lots of success energy around you, lots of positivity that is surrounding you, that is really underlying. So for those of you who fit, feel as though you've hit rock bottom and you're about to give up, 
do not give up, okay? There's new beginnings on the horizon for you. And again, you might need to get a little creative. You might need to think outside the box, okay? Whatever this, whatever that means for you. But that star energy is such vibrant, positive energy moving you forward, okay? It's really energetically um, really around you. And it's absolutely beautiful energy. Lots of positive vibes, okay? Seriously, lots of positive vibes, okay? Um, the uh, star is also card number 17, okay? 17 breaks down into an eight, abundance, okay? Unlimited potential. The eight is uh, an infinity symbol, really, okay? So there's unlimited potential, unlimited abundance around you. Trust that the universe has some of that for you, okay? So don't give up, all right? Don't give up. Keep moving forward. And I just noticed here as well that not only do we have justice, card number 11, but we also have the ace, which is another another one. And that 10, that rock bottom also breaks down into a one. So we actually have 11, 11 out on the board for you. Okay. So look up the spiritual meaning, the angel number, the spiritual meaning of 11, 11. Okay. And there will be some, um, uh, there's a lot of different, uh, meanings that come out there. So give it a, give it a good look up, have a good read. Um, every single time I look up those numbers, I find a different message for myself every single time. Know your truth. Okay. Um, I'm going to get another one here. This is a message from messages from the spirit guides. Okay. So know your truth. That's seven of swords. What is your truth? That justice energy, speak your truth, know your truth, get yourself in alignment, know what you want and go for it. Okay. Um, really be truthful and authentic with yourself okay and also with anyone that you deal with okay speak your truth speak your mind if you don't speak up okay people aren't mind readers although we'd love them to be all the time okay sometimes you need to pipe up okay to get the outcome or that way forward that you're looking for okay always be truthful that justice energy remember what you put out there comes back to you okay and then we also have lead by example Okay, so some of you in that Hierophant energy, you might actually be in that leadership role. Okay, and even though you might be feeling a little bit lackluster, you may be feeling as though your heart's not in it anymore, you're looking for a fresh challenge, something that moves you forward. Okay, you're still going to, it feels like you're going to take the high road. Okay, and you're going to um, treat that situation, okay, as you would want to be um, treated in that situation. Okay. Now that can be your workplace role. Okay. But that can also be, um, you know, any other area, including your relationships as well, right? Take that high road, always speak your truth. Okay. But speak it with kindness and compassion, treat, treat others as you want to be treated. Okay. And then all that good continues to flow back to you as well. All right. So, I'm going to leave that there for you, okay, because there's some lots, lots of messages in here. All right, lots of new beginnings as well, okay, love that, love all those ones out there for you, okay, very, very important energy for you. All right, so I'm going to leave that there, but hopefully there was some messages in here for you that gave you some wisdom, some guidance, some insight, whether it was a sentence or the whole damn thing, okay? So if so, please don't forget to like and subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know how things are working out for you. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week ahead of you, okay? So I thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.